Hey peeps, Jackie Elmer here, getting set up. I had everything all set up and ready to go and then totally forgot that when you use an iPad or an iPhone, you have to have it vertical. So, <laughs> so my opening picture doesn't look nearly as lovely as that I hoped that it had. So what am I gonna do? Sue me, right? Okay, getting all this set up, making sure I'm looking at the camera. Thank you all for joining in. Okay, Rick Tompkins, good to see you. Mrs. A.P. Clark, Allen's man joined. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the hearts. And if you said hello before I said Rick Tompkins' name, please say it again because I haven't been on Periscope for months now and it's terrible and I'm so excited to be back. Stephanie from Maryland, welcome. Jen Wyatt from Arizona. Periscope is live, isn't it fun? Yes, Jilly Sue, so good to have you here. Thank you so much, Rodney. Um, Rick, yes, I did see yours. Thank you so much. Gosh, I have been gone for a long time and I am so excited to get back. I have no excuse other than that real life got in the way and I couldn't stay consistent. You know, I mean, it's kind of a good thing. I traveled a ton last year and I was just out of town and out of the country a lot, which is my passion for anybody who knows me, knows that that's awesome. It's, you know, it's like my, it's my whole reason for having a business and, and living. So there you go. Jen Wyatt, thank you so much for sharing on Twitter. I definitely appreciate that. I'm kind of, um, you know, joining in here. Uh, it's Saturday. So I thought, well, I'll give it a little test run and make sure that I uh, still have my Perry boots on. That's what I announced. I'm putting my Perry boots back on and jumping back on Periscope. And I'm excited to be here with all of you. Jill, Jilly Sue, thank you so much for sharing on Twitter as well. Also, as you guys know, Jilly Sue, most of you probably follow her. Hopefully you do. She's amazing. Um, she's built an amazing, successful direct sales business using social media. And that's my passion too. And um, you know, it's what allowed me to be home for the last 22 years, raising my children, never having them in daycare. And it's what allowed me to travel out of the country. And literally, I think I took 10 or 12 trips last year, most of them for fun, so it was great. So uh, again, thank you all, Anne-Marie, thank you for sharing on Twitter. Uh, you can uh, swipe to the right to share if you're on iOS or an iPad, iPhone. You can um, swipe up, I believe it is, on an Android. I don't have an Android, but that's the rumor that I've heard, so um, that's what you can do to share and bring some people in. So really, what I'm, I wanna chat about today, I just want to, um, oh, you're listening to my podcast, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you find it useful. I have to tell you, I have such a passion about doing my podcast, I love it. Um, I love just rambling, as you'll find today uh, when you uh, listen to me here. So anyway, I, I love to ramble, love to um, share ideas, share stories. And if you've heard my story, you'll know that, you know, part of what makes my story is sharing my failures along with my successes because I wasn't ever a fast starter in direct sales. I struggled with so many things that so many people do maybe that you're struggling with too. And so that's really my goal with Periscope and with sharing with all of you is just to, um, you know, let you know that there are normal people behind the success stories and that even when you reach a certain point, it's kind of like me with Periscope. I jumped on in the beginning. I loved it. I was passionate about it. I was being consistent and then real life got in the way and I just, I couldn't keep the consistency and it, it's like anything. It's like going to the gym, you know. Um, I always relate everything to the gym because it, it, they're so parallel. You get into this uh, routine of working out and doing those kind of things and then, you know, the habit goes away, you go on vacation, whatever, and then so often you get back. Ellen, welcome. Well, thank you. I, 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 I am just me. I, I like to be really real and really human and, and keep it real because that's the reality of it. It doesn't matter how far you make it in anything. We all have struggles. We all have challenges. We all have real life. And you know that saying, may your life be as fabulous in, you know, may your real life be as fabulous as you make it look on Facebook. You know, that's kind of true sometimes. We, we certainly like to put our best face forward, not always be negative, but the reality of it is all of us have those things in real life that challenge us and get in the way and all that. So yes, Jilly Sue, every day is truly a, fe a fresh start. So just to quickly introduce myself, because I know some of you don't know who I am, I'm Jackie Elmer. You can learn more about me at JackieElmer.com. I've been involved in direct sales for 22 years. I just had my 22 year anniversary in January. Hey, Krista, welcome. Good to have you here. And um, I was like a lot of people, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. 
I thought it was one of those goofy things that you did if you couldn't get a real job, but I didn't want to get a real job anymore because I was home with a little 15-month-old little boy who just literally had changed my entire life. Yes, I started at age nine. Thank you. I love you for that. <laughs> no, I have a 23-year-old, believe it or not, oh, who just uh, enlisted in the Marines and is off to do special ops with the Marine Corps starting in July. So that's a new, exciting chapter in his life and consequently our life too. So that'll be interesting too. So. Anyway, uh, that's you know what kind of my story. I got involved in direct sales because I, I was looking for something I could do from home. I was already home with him, but I wanted to make sure I could stay home. I wanted to be that stay home mom. But at the same time, I always laugh and say, I wasn't a great tiddlywinks mom, meaning I didn't love being on the floor playing cars and trucks and Barbies and that kind of thing. I did it. Um, oh, your son's enlisting in the Marines too. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's an exciting chapter, one that I didn't think we'd be going down. He's been headed down the fire uh, department path for a long time, but he just um, got antsy and that's where he's headed, investigated the special ops. And so that's what his contract is for and that's what he's going into. So we're excited to become a military Marine family and uh, I love their uniform, so it's kind of cool. Anyway. Um, Anyway, you know, all that to say, I uh, struggled like so many people and wanted to be home, wanted to make sure I could be home with my kids and everything kept pointing me back to direct sales. And I won't spend a whole lot of time on that because again, you could read my whole story over at JackieElmer.com. But what I will tell you is that I, about six years into my direct sales journey, I discovered the internet. And I will say thank you to him for serving. Thank you for that. Um, I discovered the internet and I it, it changed my whole life, it changed my whole world and it changed my whole business because I started thinking, I'm a little stay home mom with two little kids, I don't want to get a babysitter every time I need to go show my business, I'm married to an airline pilot who's gone half the week and consequently half the month and I kept thinking how am I ever going to move this business to the point that I need to. If, if I'm really not gonna you know, be out there, out and about and doing that kind of stuff, and I didn't wanna be, I wanted to truly have a home-based business. I wanted to put the home back into home-based business. And so I started playing around with the internet and I kept thinking, you know, people are going to the internet to find restaurants in Buffalo, New York and the operating hours of Disneyland. I know that there are people like me who had been going to the library, right, I'm dating myself, I've been going to the library looking for some solutions. I know that there are people out there who are going to the internet looking for a way that they can make extra money, be home, and that type thing. And I will tell you, direct sales is not for everyone. I'll be the first to say that. We like to think it is. It's not. It's not for the faint of heart. You've got to have um, a tenacity and you have to have a self-motivation and a drive and an ambition and you have to have a driving why to get you out of bed every single day doing different things that move your business forward like getting on live in front of a whole audience of people and putting yourself out there right although you know I always laugh and say video and Periscope and all that stuff if I were talking to you at a coffee shop or you know face to face in any way we'd be having the same conversation so you can't ever let your fears of video and that kind of stuff stand in your way we'll be covering a lot of that you know over time yes my why yes live your why love your why that is so it's, it's so true because that's an important part of it so anyway I actually started online in October of 1999 I'm really a pioneer and kind of more of a dinosaur probably to internet marketing and that whole thing but I just kept thinking this is my solution this is the way that I'm going to be able to get myself my story and my business out in front of more people because what I realized is just like this now if you're watching the replay you're gonna see this even more powerfully for those of you who are on live right now you are joining in because you saw me on Facebook, saw me on Twitter, or maybe you were just rambling by on Periscope and saw this and thought I'm gonna hop in and, and see what the topic's about and see who this is and that type thing. And so that's all great. But for anybody that's seen it afterwards, it really reinforced what I, what I, dinosaurette, that's right. Mike Charbo, welcome, it's so good to have you here, thank you. But it, it re reinforces what I believed. What I realized very quickly about the internet is that I could leverage my time. So if I went to a networking meeting or did a one-on-one -on -one or whatever, my, my, that time was limited to the number of people who were right there in the room with me who could see what I was talking about. But through the internet, I could create content, like videos like this, that would work for me over and over again. So again, if you're on live on um, Saturday, February 20th at 1.09 in the afternoon uh, Pacific time, 4.09 in the afternoon Eastern time, then you caught me live. But you could be watching 
tomorrow. You could be watching weeks from now, months from now, and see this on YouTube, see this on my Facebook page, because you can repurpose this. This is making a video, even though it's going live, and I can use that anywhere. And that's right, I'm tweeting right now. My ability to expand my reach beyond my neighborhood, beyond my small town, big city, my state, my region, even my country, expanded dramatically through social media. So I set out to master it, to learn it, and I'm still not a master, none of us ever are. There's new platforms coming on all the time. Later today, I'm gonna to be jumping into Anchor and learning some of that, and oh, don't even get me started on all the platforms that come along. But the reality of it is, social media just gives you a whole new way to get your message out there and expand your audience, expand your business, and expand your reach. So I just kind of wanted to get on, answer any questions that anyone may have, you know, about some of the specifics of that. Again, you can learn more about me through my bio here, or you can go to JackieElmer.com. Uh, but I'm going to be sharing, you know, uh, my plan is to be back on a daily basis. We'll be talking about social media tips. We'll be talking about direct sales tips. We'll be covering, you know, I'll cover some specifics about my own business as well. And not, not from a recruiting aspect, not that I'm trying to recruit you, but sometimes, um, and, and hang that thought about the auto posts. Yes, I do. Uh, some, not all, but yes, some. But, um, you know, sometimes you have to share your own story of how you've built your business and share examples, even if it's specific to your company, to open it up to give other people ideas of what they can do. So I'll be sharing a lot of that too, because I do a lot of offline marketing now with my company as well, but I'm gonna teach you how to leverage that and bring it back online that can be really, really powerful in your business too. So there's, social media brings offline, the offline and the online world together in a way that you know nothing else can, and it's amazing when you learn how to really leverage that to build your brand, to build your business, and to create you know those things that you, that you really want. Um, so that's what we'll be covering over the next few weeks. I love hearing from you. You can follow me at Twitter, at Jackie Elmer. You can follow me on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash street smart wealth. If you have specific questions about social media, ask them there because that's where I'm going to get the best content that I can share with you and answer those questions. And I'll be the first to tell you, I do not have all the answers, but I'm not afraid to tell you I don't have all the answers and hopefully point you in a direction to where you can get those questions answered or help you find them or whatever. That's truly my passion. Okay, some of the questions, um, someone mentioned that they were a little uncomfortable with social media or perhaps intimidated with social media. Can you guys still hear me? If you can tap and give hearts. Oh, that's what hearts are for. Hearts tell me a couple things. A, that you like what you're hearing, and B, that you can still hear what I'm saying. So I appreciate that, definitely. Thank you, I, I, do, I do see those. Um, it's just kind of a way of showing appreciation. I'm not sure what the end all, uh, it's kind of a popularity contest, I suppose, to some extent which is kind of silly. I don't know what it all means in the end, but it, it does let me know that you can still hear me, so I like that. Okay, so when you say you're uncomfortable with social media, tell me a little bit more about that. Is it, an, are you uncomfortable um, putting yourself out there? Is it the video part of things? Um, tell, me, tell me more, just type in there a little bit more about what it is about social media that makes you feel uncomfortable, and we can walk you through, even over the next few weeks, this gives me great ideas of what to, to, what to share. So you don't wanna sound salesy on social media. Perfect, and you don't wanna put it out there. Okay, so we'll start with those two things. Um, sounding salesy, that's so important because one of my goals is to teach direct sellers how to stop being spammy on social media. I have sponsored nearly 2,000 people into my primary company using social media, into a primary company. I've changed companies a couple of times. We'll talk about that over the course of the next few weeks too. Um, but I've sponsored nearly 2,000 people using social media and I haven't does it, done it by advertising. I haven't done it by blasting on my Facebook wall. You know, come join my opportunity, join my team. We're the best ever, get on this, get on that. None of that. I've done it by building relationships and creating value for people through social media. Do I get it right 100% of the time? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, none of us do. Have I you know, put some things out there before where I looked at it and thought, ooh, that seems a little salesy? Absolutely, I have done that as well. 
And so the biggest thing to note is that you're not going to get it right every single time, but you have to get started and you have to learn from your mistakes and be willing to keep going and trying and testing and tweaking and see really what it is that's going to work for you. That is the biggest part of it. And Mike Charbo, thank you. I, I don't know that I'm the best at it, but I do try to keep, keep getting better every single day and learning and growing from that. Um, and then Jen Wyatt, how do I create value that's different than what's out there? Here's the thing, 90% of everything is copy. It really truly is. I mean, th that's the reality of it. I'm not sharing anything with you right here on this Periscope that somebody else at some point hasn't shared in some way, shape or another. But the reality of it is, we all have different connections. We all have a different voice in the way we say things. Um, you, you could hear something five times by five different people and the sixth person comes along and says it in a way, in a language, in some way that resonates with you and all of a sudden you get it. Now, I don't know if you're a parent or not, um, or even married, but how many times have you ever had this happen? Like you're, you've been talking about something for a long time and then your spouse comes home and someone they work with told them the exact same thing and now all of a sudden it's the gospel and you're thinking to yourself, hello, um, been, you know, been preaching that for a long time. Or your kids, you know, especially happens with your kids. You can tell them something over and over again but then, you know, a teacher at school or one of their good friends or somebody says it, now all of a sudden it resonates with them. They've heard that same message, but the timing wasn't right. So that's really it about creating value. It's determining your brand, your voice, and your way of delivering it. Um, yeah, I do know your wife, kind of, not exactly, but hey, we, we, we chicks definitely stick together. You know, we got, we've, got a, we've got our own language for how we do that stuff. So there you have it, Mike. Um, but yeah, so that really is a big part of it is just learning to speak authentically from your own experiences. I mean, it's kind of funny, even with blogging, people will say to me, I don't know what to blog about. And my answer is if you're building a business, like if you're actively out there building a business, you're contacting people, you're inviting them, you're sharing your opportunity, you're hearing no's, you're hearing yeses, you're building a team, you're getting people started, you're having people join and then go into the witness protection program or whatever it is, if you're experiencing any of that, you will never, never run out of content to blog about or to create con, uh, you know, other, you'll, you'll never run out of ideas of what to create content around because it's kind of like reality TV. You can't make this stuff up and it's all a great learning experience for you and all great, great ideas that you can put into content to share with other people. Okay, how many social media platforms should one use? I think you start with one, really, and learn to master it. That's a big, big part of it. Um, you know, a lot of people say Facebook is dead. I say, no, I don't think so. Not even close. It's not even close to being dead. There's 1.5 billion people on it already and getting on all the time. But there are a lot of platforms. And so a lot of times I'm asked, well, what's the best one? The best one is the one that fits for you. Um, I, you know, Instagram is great, but I have to tell you, I just, I personally enjoy being on Facebook more than Instagram. I feel like I'm in kind of a narrow, narrow tunnel when I'm on Instagram. Like I, I feel like I can't see the bigger picture. Whereas on Facebook, I just feel like I can see so many different conversations and, and different things. And, and that's just me. That's the way I see it. That doesn't mean it's a right or a wrong. Doesn't mean there's, there's anything bad about Instagram. It's amazing. And I have people on my own team who are using it and being very effective with it. But for me right now, it just, the timing isn't right. I'm just going to start easing onto Snapchat, even though my daughter keeps telling me, stay off of Snapchat, mom. Um, you know, so it, it's incorporating a lot of different things at the right time for you, finding that platform that's going to be the right mix for you, and then going after it and not getting distracted by the bright, shiny object of other platforms. Um, for me, I absolutely love anything that's visual and audio. So I, I do a podcast. Um, you can find it over on my blog, JackieAlmer.com. You can, I'm on iTunes. I'm on Stitcher. You can, you know, definitely, uh, plug in there and listen to my podcast. I love doing it. It's easy for me to do. I love shooting videos because I guess because I've been in the profession long enough that there's not a question you can ask me that's going to throw me from the pyramid issue to, um, you know, it being a scam to I don't want to make money off my friends and family to all that kind of stuff. Um, I can chat with you about almost anything and I think that's why video is comfortable. What about Pinterest? Um, I don't get the interest in Pinterest. I get the interest, but to be honest, it's distracting for me. It's another one that I know is a fabulous platform, but I'm not using it 
particularly to grow my business. Do I have a Pinterest board and several boards? Yes, I do. Do I use them effectively? Not really. I use them a little bit, but I, I would certainly not call my, myself a master of Pinterest. Um, I've created some leads from Pinterest, interestingly, interestingly, and I have sponsored someone, but it was more, I think, of just the right time and right place, not because I've worked it super effectively or anything like that. So the biggest thing is look at the platforms that are out there. Don't get caught up in all the hype of, oh, you've got to jump on this now or you're going to miss the boat. I don't believe in that. Um, I don't believe I don't believe that the, that the ship ever totally sails, with the exception maybe of MySpace. Uh, I mean, obviously, if a platform doesn't make it, then it's that way. But I, I don't think if a platform's going to come around and stick, it, it's going to work for you at whatever point that you find that it, it fits for you. So I've been on for 20 minutes now. I really wanted to keep it to 10, so I'm going to log off for now. What I am going to tell you is that I'm going to be back. You can follow me here at Periscope. I'm at Jackie Elmer. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackie Elmer. You can follow me on Facebook. Street Smart Wealth is my Facebook page. Love answering any of your questions. Ask them over there. I'll make sure that they get covered here. We're going to have some different topics Monday through Friday. We're going to probably have Wham Wednesday, just so you know, and um, probably Techie Tuesday and Training Thursday and Fabulous Friday. I don't know. I'm working out all the details. But if you have ideas to share, certainly let me know about those. I appreciate all of you who um, retweeted me. Yes, and I do see your retweets, Deb, and I appreciate them so much. Thank you so much. Please let me know how I can add value for you, how I can be a good support structure. Again, uh, you can go to JackieElmer.com. You can get my 25 best lead sources online, my reports over there. And um, that's it. So I appreciate you being here. I will see you on the next Periscope. Have an awesome weekend. I don't know where you are. The sun is shining brightly in Southern California, and I hope you're having an amazing day. All right, let's see if I can remember how to shut the broadcast off. Appreciate you guys.